Good afternoon, my name is Chris Howes and this is The Keith, where we'll be delving into some local stories of Portsmouth. Our top story this afternoon is the recent funding of £21.5 million into the Portsmouth University Faculty of Creative and Cultural Industries. This, is, this spans across both the new Eldon Building, whose grand opening was two weeks ago, and the ongoing building work in the new Theatre Royal on Guildhall Walk. We went to find out just what is going on. If you happen to stroll down Guildhall Walk this autumn, it is likely you'll be hearing the sounds and drills of building work. This is because the Portsmouth Theatre Royal, open since 1854, is getting a well-deserved makeover. Not only does this mean fantastic things for the city of Portsmouth, as it plans to be one of the top entertainment venues in the country, but also of huge benefit for the Portsmouth University Creative Arts and Cultural Centre. Along with new stages being built within the walls of the theatre, able to capacitate 700 people, there will be a brand new television studio and array of film and video facilities. With the current media studio residing at the Rotunda Building, situated in Ravelin Park, the state-of-the-art learning facility currently being built will be larger and more modern. Uh, the Eldon Building has just had £14 million invested into its new project. Oh really? What's your opinion on them spending that much money on just one creative department? Well, they're trying to attract new students. The Eldon Building is a massive development. I guess it will help develop... Well, Richmond had probably about similar. They built massive, massive buildings and there's business departments huge. PBS is probably one of the best on the South Coast. Mm. Um, Eldon Building probably has had probably the same amount of investment, to be honest. Uh, yeah, this, the extension should mean, well, obviously, in the, in the crucial times, sometimes you have to struggle getting onto computers or getting accessing your piece of software you need. So it'll be good, a bit more, less stress in times when we're really going to be under pressure. Beneficial to the university itself, as um, it will strengthen it in the league tables and make the whole site look better. Only two weeks ago, the brand new Eldon Building had its grand opening after being in the works for over two years. With a new gallery spanning 46 square metres, a large 200-seat lecture theatre, additional seminar spaces, open access IT suites and labs, a cafe and enhanced workshops. All in all, £14 million have been invested into this giant project, with a swish architectural design to finish the picture off. Part of a long-term investment to bring back the arts into the community. It's no wonder an exciting time for creative arts at Portsmouth University. And now to sports. In recent news, the Portsmouth Ski and Snowball Club have managed for the first time since the group began to hold the first place in King's qualifying rounds, meaning the national competition is on the cards next year. With fierce competition against all teams from the South East, Portsmouth has won every race except one, due to a fall from team captain Kieran Lockyer seconds from the finish line. The team hopes that next January at King's Round 4, they will continue on their road to victory. We have Peter Taylor Fitch in the studio with us. Peter, thank you for coming in today. Good to be here. So, can you please explain to us what the competition is? Uh, it's quite a simple setup. Um, we go up to Brentwood. Uh, we've got three rounds this semester, three rounds next. Um, it's dry slope, so one team against another. Um, basically, battle that out until the one team's got more points than the others, really. So, how is the competition shaping up for next year? Um, personally, it's looking great. For the first time in a couple of years, we've had a full team for every race, which is good. Uh, <laughs> As we've been generally been smashing it, we mm. managed to whitewash a couple of the rounds. Um, generally looking really promising. So what essentially are yourself and the rest of the team doing to prepare for this event next year? Um, well, we try and train as much as possible. Unfortunately, Portsmouth doesn't have its own training facilities. Um, but we get to Southampton and obviously try and keep in good physical condition as much as we can, really. So Just trying to keep yourself strong, really, for next year. Yeah, just to yeah. try and make us as abominable as possible. Uh, that's fair. Well, thank you ever so much for coming in today, Pia, Cheers and good luck with me. the rest of the competition. Thanks. And, and from one cold snowy event to another, with winter truly hitting the last few weeks and the temperatures plummeting, it is safe to say that Christmas is coming. And to get into the community fun, our local reporter Jess headed to the Victorian Christmas Market at Portsmouth Harbour to celebrate the 14th anniversary. <laughs> Jess, I'm here at the historic dockyard and today we've got the annual Victorian market. So let's go chat to some people who are involved, shall we? We've got 
got two lovely actors here today for the groundling performance. How long have you actually been working at the market? This is my fifth year that Your I've done it. Uh, my first year. Wow. My first. Do you like everyone coming to see you performing and dancing? Yeah. 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 Get to dress up? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Obviously, yeah. that's the right part. <laughs> Done off and on for about the last seven or eight. So, you are you actually employed here, or are you just here for the fun? We belong to a local club. Okay. And they're contacted by the organisers to put a display on. We dress up anyway, because that's what we do on a right. Well, it wouldn't look right, would it? Exactly. It looks horrible if I was in life. Yeah. Right. So I'm here at one of the Victorian market stalls. So tell me, how long have you been coming back here every year? Well, it's actually our first year. Oh really? So, yeah. Absolutely brand new for us and we've absolutely loved it. Uh, so let's tell me some of the stuff that you're actually selling here. Is it all Christmas based? Yeah, um, mainly so everything for the Christmas table. So, you know, napkin rings down to table centres and table yeah. runners. <laughs> so tell me, are you looking forward to Christmas? Absolutely, yeah, I love Christmas. Christmas in Portsmouth? Yes, definitely. <laughs> yeah, we've, I mean, like I said, it's first year, so I'm really excited to so see you feel the atmosphere around here. Yeah. It's really good. Is this the first year you've it is. I live in Portsmouth. It's the first year I've been to this. I'll be coming on Sunday with relatives, but uh, so wow. there's a little bit of a peek around today. So what have you um, done while you've been here? Just mooched I've around? I've literally just arrived. You see, you've just been on the, the carousel, the horses, oh, yeah. which he loved. That was faster than I was expecting, so I think he enjoyed <laughs> it more than myself. Did so you go on with him? I went on with him, but oh, I think I'm going to go on this little one here. It looks a bit safer. Yeah. Which one did you go on? The carousel? The That's... big one, the big round oh, one on yeah. the entrance. Did you have good fun on the horses, Leo? Yeah? Yeah. Did you good fun? There you have it, a little bit of Portsmouth festivities there for you. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Woo! <laughs> so there you have it, just a small part of the Portsmouth Christmas spirit to whet your appetite. And with the holidays just around the corner, make sure to keep an eye out for other upcoming seasonal events. And joining us in the studio now to warm up after the cold outside is Jess. <laughs> uh, Jess, thanks for coming into the studio. No problem. So what is it about the Christmas fair that makes it so special every year? Well, it's obviously the people. Mm. I mean, it wouldn't be anything if, if the people that, you know, are dedicated, you know, once every year to coming back weren't there. You know, which wouldn't, wouldn't be what it is. You've got people that dress up in Victorian clothes. You've got people that bring in those giant bikes. <laughs> You know, what, what would it be without that? And I mean, you've got the chimney sweepers as well. Oh, but of course, yeah. It's really nice to have so many people that are dedicated every year to put yeah. on such a great show. I mean, is there anything in particular at the Christmas fair that's special to yourself in a way? Well, I mean, do you know, it's great watching all the performers, all the little kids, you know, having a great time. But then there was a point when I turned the corner. Oh, I can see a lot oh, coming. And there was just stalls upon stalls <laughs> of food and wine. Oh my goodness. That, that's what Christmas is for me, personally. you just got to eat. Yeah. You've got to eat the whole time. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's so difficult, isn't it? Every year we try and work up all the food we've eaten last year, and then yeah. it comes to Christmas, we'll put it all on again. I know, I know. But, you know, I mean, think of it like this. It's kind of like a Christmas present in itself, mm. where you can just eat whatever you want. It's like someone said to you, you know, if you suffer all year round, Christmas will be the best Christmas time, like, ever. That's also one of those situations, you get a box of chocolates, and you're like, oh, I'll put those away for dessert later. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's like, you know, the whole of Christmas is a treat, rather than just pudding, you know, er on the odd occasion. And especially when you get a really nice handmade hot chocolate with extra whipped cream and marshmallows on top. Yes, you know, absolutely. Nothing can be any better. Hundreds and thousands, a lot. And will you be doing that with a nice blanket in front of the TV watching Christmas yes. films with the family? Oh my gosh. The whole, like, the last 12 days, like, before Christmas, that's when you, sp you spend the whole time with, like, your family, duvets, and Christmas films and Christmas songs. Anything in particular you're going to be watching? Um, well, obviously yeah. Elf. Elf is, like, one of the top. Well, I'm sorry, we're going to have to wrap up. Thank you ever so much for coming in the studio Fine. today. And that's it from us in the studio today. So from me, Chris Howes, until next time, take care and goodbye. <laughs>